Hello everyone. This demonstration is regarding OPM and BRCM integration. First of all, I am going to show you how to enable BRCM for OPM workset. Here are two simple steps to do that. Step number one. We will go to configure in open plan modeler installer. Here we have checkbox to enable raceways and cable management. We can check or uncheck any other option as we want to and we'll proceed with the installation normally. So this was step number one. We will go to the step number two now. Launch open plant project administrator. Here we can see three example work sets. BRCM is not enabled for these work sets by default. We can do so by selecting a work set and click enable. Here we can see the check boxes and now we can check BRCM checkbox and proceed with this dialog box. Now you can see that we have raceways and cable management node. So now BRCM is enabled. Now we will see that how it works in open plant modeler. We will create a new file in open plant modeler. Modeler has loaded the file and we can see BRCM tab here. Under this tab, we have all the raceways ribbons available for use in OPM. Next step is integration workflow. This drawing is from webinar project and I have opened it in open plan modeler. Prior to that, a raceway portion in a T has been deleted. This drawing was registered as both equipment and raceways. Now we are going to mend this raceway system in open plant modeler. We will go to raceways router. Using connect command, we will join this broken raceways. Then we will select a raceways. And using insert part button, we will insert a T where it is missing. We have finished editing raceway system in open plant modeler and we will proceed to do some BRCM workflows on this file. Launch BRCM from desktop shortcut. This is the file we edited in open plant modeler. Now we are going to reference few files. These files were created in BRCM and open plant modeler. The files which are created in open plant modeler were exported as iModel and now we are going to reference the i.dgn files. After referencing this file, we will import open plant schema from iModel import. Here we will select open plant modeler schema. In, in review differences dialog box, we are going to select all the entries, accept the changes and update it. As per this message, equipment manager will get launched. From equipment manager, we will select junction box. The junction box will be placed at the same location as OPM equipment unless the insertion location is changed in open plant modeler. To make junction box visible to you, I am hiding reference file for a while. Here you can see the junction boxes. Our next step will be to import cable from cable list import. We will select XLS and XML files respectively.
In Differences dialog box, we will select all the entries, accept the changes and update it. Raceways and equipment drawing is completed. Now we are going to create a routing file. We will register this design file as routing model. Go to Cable Manager. From Manage, we will go to Collaboration Manager. We will request lock all the entries and click OK. Now we are back to the Cable Manager. We will select all the entries and auto connect them. We will select all the entries again and go to Routing Manager. In Routing Manager, we will select all the entries and start automatic routing. We can see that we have 19 hits and none of them is failed. On clicking OK, we will go back to Cable Manager. On closing Cable Manager, we are asked to save the changes. We will again go back to Cable Manager and create a 3D cable. We can see that we have this 3D cable in our model. So the routing has been completed. Now we are going to create a 2D extraction file. New drawing is created. Now we will reference the drawing in which we place the raceway system. Now we will go to 2D Extraction tab. Under this tab, we have Place Section Plane option. Register the file as 2D Extraction and place the section across the Raceways cross section. Now we will create section by selecting the section plane and selecting the template that we want to use. And here we get all the tables. Now we can create reports from Output Manager. Here we can select the resources and we will select all the entries in Collaboration Manager and request them lock. We are going to create detailed cable schedule and here is the preview for this. We can see all the data here. So now you can export it to any format as you want like PDF or Word. That was all. If you have any question, feel free to ask. Thank you.